In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Asus Armory Crate on your laptop or computer. So this is a really useful tool to help you manage your different PC components. So this can control the lighting and also the different system modes on your computer. Now to do this, we need to open up an internet browser and then just go and type in Asus Armory Crate and press enter. You then need to click on this bottom website, which is armory-crate.com. Now, once you're on this page, we can go and click on the download button. You can then scroll all the way down the page and you should see a bunch of different download links. And the one that we need is this top one, Armory Crate and Aura Creator Installer. Go and click on this. Now it should begin downloading straight away, but if it doesn't, you can always come back over to the previous page and you can just click on the download link once again. Now, once it's finished downloading, click on your downloads folder, and then we just need to go and open up this zip file. You then need to extract the zip file by right clicking on it, click on extract all, and then just press extract. Now, once you've done that, we can double click on Armory Crate Installer and you can go and open up this file. It's now going to ask you which components you want to install. So I'm just going to be installing the Armory Crate, but you can also choose to install the Aura Creator and the Virtual Pet. So the Aura Creator is a way for you to go and create your own custom lighting patterns on your device. And the Virtual Pet just gives you information about your system, such as your memory and CPU usage. So I'm just gonna select this one and press start. You can now just wait a few seconds while that installs to your computer. You can then agree to the terms and conditions and press agree. Now you can decide if you want any of these additional features. I'm just going to press next. Select your theme and then press start using. You may get a Windows security message pop up. Just press yes or allow. Now once that's finished, just click on reopen app. You can then press skip once. And over in the left navigation, this is where we can manage all of our different devices. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.